Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Anyways, next question, number two. Campbell, <laughs> Campbell, 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 Waldron Smith. Here's one for next time, if you do another Q&A. Well, I tell you what, I'm doing heaps of these Q&As now, so if you've ever got questions, hit me up below. Do you follow the Super Rugby? And if so, which team or teams do you follow? Cheers. Well, of course I follow the Super Rugby. I grew up with the Super Rugby. Um, I grew up in... Canterbury. I grew up in Christchurch, New Zealand. And so with that being said, can you guess what team I like? It's the Crusaders. Growing up as a child, teenager, Crusaders absolutely owned the Super Rugby. And I think we won, we might have won like five or six in a row at one point there in the 2000s. And um, yeah, I was, geez, I was a mad fan. I never really went to too many live games, but I always watched every game on TV. And the Crusaders are the team that I followed. And I still follow them, but with that being said, I, I couldn't say that I've watched one Super Rugby game this year, and I don't, I don't think I watched one the year before either. Probably the year before that, so we're talking about 2015, 16, I still, you know, followed it. Um, caught a game here and there, but back in, I, I can actually remember the last year that I really was a fanatic fan about Super Rugby was down in Adelaide in 2011, and remember every single Sunday I'd go onto YouTube and I'd look up the highlights of the Super Rugby games, especially the Crusaders, because, you know, they're my home team. So, with that being said, I love all New Zealand teams. I would always say that Southern Hemisphere Rugby is the shit. It's, it's where it's at. It's where the flair is at. It's where the pace, agility, the natural ability of these guys, it's where it's at. So, Southern Hemisphere Rugby, Super Rugby, we've got the Crusaders, number one. I'd have to say number two would be any team that Sonny Williams is playing for. He is my favourite player. So whether that's the Blues or the Chiefs, then you've got the Hurricanes, and then you've got the Highlanders. So my top five teams would be the New Zealand teams, but number one is always going to be the Crusaders. And I hope that answers your question. Actually, I don't know where you live, so before you go, I will tell you my top Australian team and my top South African team. And now they've got Argentina and bloody... They've got Argentina and Japan, don't they? So, you see, I started when it was Super 12. Super 12 started in 1995. Can you believe that? Joe Nalomu was playing. Christian Cullen was playing. Jeff Wilson was playing. All these guys were playing. 1995. Then it went to Super 14. Then it went to Super 15. Now it's Super 18, I think. Um, I don't know where it's going to go. So I've heard stories that they're going to include the USA soon. So. We'll have to see what happens with that, but unfortunately due to life, you know, I'm 27 now, I don't have time, I definitely can't follow it like I used to. Anyways, next question. Highs. Has he? Has he? Has I? Alright, let's go with that. Hey man. Hey man. I'm currently 16 and struggling with gyno. I'm pretty lean and not many people know I have it, even my parents, but it's getting hotter and I'm going to have to wear a shirt soon, so it will be noticed. I'm going on vacation too in two weeks time, but just wondering how you think I could tell my parents, like in what setting do I mention surgery? Much appreciated. Well, that's the final question for today, guys. And it's a very good question. It's not a question, like I don't actually do that as a, as a kid coming through. I knew that I had it, but I didn't really see surgery as a, um, a realistic option at that point. And also I knew that it could well go away on its own. So with, with that being said, if you're 16, I think if you've had it for more than, you know, my, my gyno developed when I was like 11 or 12. So I, at age 16, I'd already had it for four years, in, in which case it probably wasn't going to go away. But if you've only had it for like a year or two, uh, it could well go away on its own, especially for the fact that it's very small. With that in mind, I, I don't think you should really approach your parents about it just yet. I think age 18, um, you should probably start doing that, especially if surgery is going to be something that you, you really, you're going to want. Um, are you going to be able to pay it yourself? I mean, when you turn 18, you're eligible for loans. You can take out a credit card. I mean, if it means that much to you, there are options to get it done. You don't always have to rely on your parents, but if you are going to be relying on your parents, if you are going to be wanting to bring it up to them in the most positive way possible, 
uh, to get a positive response. I think it depends on what relationship you have with them, but personally, if I was going to tell my parents, I would get the facts first. I'd watch videos like mine. Um, you know, I've got a video in, the, in my library called The Truth About Gyno. I put it out about six months ago and I'd say that is, it's a very useful video. It's got a lot of good information. But yeah, age 16, I think it's too early. I think even if you went to the doctor and said, look, I want surgery, what's going on? He would say, which can be very frustrating at times, but he would say, nah, come back in another two years and see what it looks like. Um, and then also, you know, if it is a very mild case, are you being paranoid? Probably not. I mean, my case was pretty small, but I hated it. You know, I've had people come on my channel and say, you didn't even have gyno, but of course I did. It just wasn't that bad of a case. And I also built my chest up, you know, above here. I built some mass up here so that the look of it wasn't so bad. And that's what I would recommend you do as well. But you are only 16. So I hope that's helped. Let me just read the question one more time before we go, in case I missed something. Uh, how do you think I... How should you tell your parents? I mean, tell your parents. If you can't tell your parents, who can you tell? Especially if you're gonna want their financial help. But, you know, be realistic. Um, they will most likely get their own information. They will most likely research themselves. And, and in which case, they'll see that until you're age 18, there's really no way of telling exactly what sort of case you've got. So, by all means, tell them. Be upfront, be open and honest about your feelings. If it's making you feel like shit, be honest about it. No one deserves to, to be living a life where you feel like you can't live to your potential due to something on your body that you can change. So, good luck. You're only young. Chin up, mate. You've only got a small case of it too, so it's not the end of the world. There's a lot more people out there in worse cases than you, but I will say that I know exactly how you feel and eventually it'll all work out. So with that being said, that was the question and answer video. We had three questions, three different topics, three good topics. So I wanna say thank you once again for asking the questions and I wanna say, have a good one, peace out. I'm gonna to go to the gym right now. Boom, let's go.